Hello, 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 hello. Welcome to Movie Money. This is your girl Agi and today I am doing it differently. We are doing it differently because usually you know you know us be in the studio seated or in the garden seated, but today we are outdoor. We are actually here at Century Cinemax Cinema where we are here for the premiere of Faded Rose, the movie that we came here to cover the red carpet and I'm so blessed and honored to be the person that was able to talk to all these celebrities. Guys, you don't want to miss the movie menu because this time around, I brought you the cream de la cream, the best in the industry. Stay tuned and don't want to miss anything in any, any episode of Movie Menu for that matter. Stay tuned. We are in the thing. I'm afraid you have an internal bleeding. She's a bit weak, she can't speak. Is she sick? Blood cancer. Oh shit. But you have to give up on this one. How long do you have her here now? A year? Or less? And she lives. By then you will be broke. I'm trying to fundraise. A treatment is very expensive. It's worse. Uh, actually, I think I saw Eva at the entrance. She looked so surprised. That girl is not my friend. Friends don't simply get jealous of our friends. Jealous? Eva is sick. She has blood cancer. She has been falling sick more often and now they need 16 million for her treatment. Sharon. Sharon, Sharon, Sharon. She's not worth it. That's because you don't know her. You don't know this girl. She's a feathered rose. Hello, hello. Welcome to Movie Manual. This is your girl again. This is Race TV. But we are going to be, we are at Akesha Mall, Cinema, Cinema, and we are going to be talking about Faded Roses. Right now, I'm with the gentleman that is one of the main cast. He's going to tell us exactly who he is and what he's doing in this movie. Hello. Hi, how are you doing, Aggie? Good, how are you? Very fantastic. Good to see you. Thank you for coming. You're looking nice. Well, I mean, it's one of those days where you have As to look nice. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay, let's talk about what's Faded Roses. Uh, Faded Rose is, uh, Wow, I can't even find the right English word to explain what Freddie Rose is. But Freddie Rose is a movie about you know two friends okay. who uh, later on in the future had to you know get on separate roads. So one had the fortunate road where he became uh, you know rich, if I could use that English yes. word. That is me, Leo. Yes. And then uh, uh, my other friend who is of course uh, Roger Mugisha, yes. uh, who also plays in this particular movie, uh, takes up a different path and things are not doing quite well for him. Uh, the wife has cancer and then I get to chip in and uh, try and you know move his uh, life around and you know make it a better life that I would want him to be. Because he was my best friend when we were kids and now that you know the world has changed and you know he's doing quite Bad. So it's me who chips in and you know tries to put him back on his feet. But unfortunately, he does lose his wife to cancer, and the story does get to continue. It's a romantic movie, dramatic and nice. It's awesome, basically. Okay, so who are you in Faded Rose? I am uh, Leo. I, I play an, a character called Leo. I'm the husband to uh, this beautiful lady right here in red. Okay. Uh, she's called you know Sharon, and uh, basically my character here is uh, the husband who supportive husband basically in this okay, movie okay. who's there for the friend as well and it was an, a, quite an awesome experience okay, so what do you want someone who's going to be watching to get from this whole movie uh friendship friendship is key uh, that's one thing i would like people to take home after this movie because this movie is based on two friends and how you know they work together to help okay. each other to you know transpass their lives especially leo who helps in with you know a colleague right there so i think friendship is one of the things that people should take home and also love Love is okay, very So, good. Leo, I'm, I'm just going to have to call you Leo. <laughs> so, uh, if, if you had to do two things yeah. right now, today, mm. what are those things that you would do today? Two things. Uh, well, I wouldn't say be rich because I'm rich. Yeah. <laughs> That's a joke. But uh, two, if I'm to do two things today, what would they be? Uh, I, I'd actually call my mom and tell her about this. I was supposed to give her a call, but I haven't, so I think she's I'll do here. that. No, she's not here. Uh, yeah, so I think I'll do that that's then. One. That's yeah, one. one. Two, uh, what I would do if I had the ability, 
is uh, to put a smile on everyone's mouth. Everyone deserves to smile. Everyone deserves to have a friend. Everyone deserves to feel loved. If I had the opportunity to do that, I would do that number two. Nice. So, uh, Leo, is this yeah. your first movie exactly? Or are we? Oh, so you, you've been around? Yeah. I've been around. I'm, I'm just uh, too picky when it gets to which projects I jump on, given my schedule and the kind of work I do. So yeah, this is actually my uh, third, yeah, my third movie. Yeah, if I recall, okay. actually second movie, and the other one was a series. Yeah. Oh, there's someone who's out there. They, they have no idea exactly what to do, how to go, where to go, and who to talk to. Yeah. How would you advise them? Yeah, to talk to in terms of. In terms of what they have, the love, the talent, the passion for film, but they don't know who to go to and where to go. I mean, it's very simple. Uh, Ugandan movie industry is, uh, is growing at a very fast rate. That's the beauty about it. And uh, I mean, there's social media. You know, you can head over to Facebook, look for you know some actors, some actresses that you know you feel like you, you can easily relate to. Your role models probably hit them up. You know, uh, watch Ugandan movies. You know, I mean, there's Power Magic and Power Magic Prime. You know, they're doing quite wonderfully well when it gets to promoting Ugandan films. So you know, get yourself interested with those kind of channels. Watch them, see how it's supposed to be. You know, try out things in your mirror. You know, start acting when you're at home. And, yeah, let the passion just push you up. You make it sound so easy, but it's not as easy as it sounds. <laughs> anyway, Leo, yes. so um, of all the, the scenes that you were as doing, doing the shooting, yes. what is that one particular scene that you don't want to forget? You don't want to forget ever, 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 ever? Oh, my wedding day. Oh. oh yeah, my wedding day in the movie, that's one scene I literally just can't forget. It was fantastic, it was beautiful. I actually cried, you know, it wasn't part of the why, script. Why did you cry? I don't know, I just felt emotional and romantic at the same time. So yeah, I, I, I mean, I just had to drop it here. That's like one scene that is just stuck at the back of my memory. Okay, so of the people that you've worked with, yeah. who do you think, oh, you wish you'd like, I would like to do this again and again and then with them? I don't know about the people that you've been working with. Uh, let me, like I said earlier on, I'm a very picky person when it gets a project I work on. So if I've worked with someone, then I wouldn't mind doing it over and over again. All the actors, all the filmmakers I've worked with, you know, uh, David Zorn, Collins on this one, you know, uh, filmmakers like Roger, just to mention, but a few, Pamela, Godfrey. The industry is huge. I've literally worked with a lot of people in the industry and I wouldn't mind doing it again and again. That's nice. Thank you so much for your time. You enjoy much. your time here, enjoy the premiere and enjoy the movie. Thank you so much. That was Leo in the movie, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. We're still here and we're going to give you more and more and more, especially about Faded Rose as a movie itself. It's premiering today and we are at Takesha Mall. It's a movie manual and it's your girl, Agi. I'm here with the gentleman. He's apparently the producer of Faded Rose. Hello, sir. Hello, how are you? Good to see you. Good to have you here. Thank you. Tell us exactly who are you and what are you doing here? Well, um, that was Edwin, the producer of Faded Rose. Well, this is the baddest movie in Uganda right now. You shouldn't miss. Uh, currently, it's a story about uh, two girls, Sharon and Eva, uh, who lost their parents, both their parents in a car accident, and they grew in one family. But as they grew up, uh, they took different turns. One was a prosperous girl, the other one developed cancer. Well, you need to watch it yourself. Anyway. They have to watch it. Uh, so, um, I, I'm going to have to ask you, when you decided to, to, to produce this movie, what did you look at exactly? Uh, we looked for the best actors and actresses. Uh, we have uh, Roger Mugishia, we have uh, Natalie Lillian, we have uh, Derek Aine, and so many others. So, those are the best actors and actresses we could get in Uganda. Are you sure they're the best ones? Yeah. Do you even know that I can act as well? I'm just saying. Well, this is this is our first production. There are so many others coming oh, around, so you it's can it's join. It's yeah, your first? yeah, it wow. is our first. Wow. Yeah. So, what were the challenges you as uh, a producer? Well, as a producer, we face many challenges. As producers, actually, in Uganda, mm. uh, we have the talent, but the sponsorship is really down. We need sponsorship. We need money to bring up better movies here in Uganda. So, uh, we've been having issues of like we premier movies but they never get to go to the rest of the, the our people out there because they are our audiences who are you targeting in this movie exactly looking at the premiere putting it up here who are you targeting exactly we are targeting everyone worldwide actually not only in uganda worldwide first of all it's premiering today on 30th at uh, cinemax century akashi mall then it's showing up to thursday so anyone who, want it, who wants to watch it, please come and join us here up to Thursday. But if you say that, they, won't, they will not show. They will wait for those other days. Are they free entry? Are, are they for free or they have to pay? No, it's not free. You'll have to come with your 10,000. Only 10,000. Today we are paying 30, but on these other days you'll pay 10,000. Oh, okay. So guys, this is uh, Mr. 
Edwin. Baba's Edwin and he is the producer Faded Rose. Guys, this is um okay. Have, are you an actor yourself? Are you just a businessman? Are you an actor? What, what, what um, got you interested? I'm just a businessman, but um, I'm looking about entering the, the acting bit also. What Very would you, soon. If you had a chance to act, what would you act right now, right here with me? Uh, that is a pretty okay, tight. No, I am your girlfriend. You probably found me cheating, God forbid. But how would you react to that? <laughs> well, as a gentleman, I wouldn't fight. Okay. I'll have to come down. The guy is still around meanwhile. Uh, oh, that is a different <laughs> one. <laughs> the the guy is somewhere here. We didn't, we didn't think you were coming back. So I thought you had gone on a trip somewhere. But all of a sudden you decided to come back and then he's well, in the room. Of, well, out of anger, I have to move out. Just like that? You yeah. Just, just so easy? Yeah. Yeah. You didn't put up a fight? We, we, we've had so much domestic violence and I advise you not to do domestic violence. That please. means you do not love me that much to fight for me? No, oh, I love you, but then I'll have to come down. What if I do something bad to you? Ah, okay. Guys, that was the producer faded movie at the premiere here at Akesha Mall. Guys, I'm here with a lady. She's all dressed up. She's smart. You, you don't want me to tell you. Now you can see. If you're still home, bam, jump on a, a bajaj and get here. Hello, hello, lady. Hello. <laughs> you look so nice. You look so beautiful. Who are you and what are you doing here? Uh, my name is SD. Um, I'm here to watch Faded Rose. Um, I support Ugandan things. Anything Ugandan, I'm in for it. So it's by Uganda, build Uganda, I'm all the way. Oh, you're, you're so nice. You know, it's rare to find a Ugandan who speaks just like you. So tell me, are you into the industry or you're just a fan? So when uh, I was told about the movie, I was like, really Ugandan? And, and let me tell you, we have talent. Like, we, we really have talent. And uh, so it's just about supporting each other. And then you make those people that have the talent believe in themselves. You understand? So if, you, if, if we make something Ugandan and then the fellow Ugandans are not buying or they're not supporting, then who else is to support? You see the Nigerians, they... When they do the Nollywood stuff, they are all going out. The Kenyans, they do their thing. What would you tell someone who does not believe in Chinese Uganda? I don't want to call it Chinese Uganda, God forbid. <laughs> but Ugandan made movies. So how would you want to advise someone who's out there? They still feel, I'm a What would you want to say? Because that's, that's a national television. You'd want to tell someone who's out there. They still think, Say something to them. First of all, what I would like to, 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 to say, tell someone who doesn't want to, really, you understand? Eh? If you cannot come and, if you don't believe in Ugandan stuff, at least just do it because you're patriotic about your country. Because for me, that even if, even if they told me uh, this sandal is, uh, is a Ugandan thing or what. Eh? But the thing is, first of all, you will relate with what they are. Most of these movies that people do are based on their life stories. Yes. So if we come back, if, if, the, if, if, if you're not believing in the Ugandan movies, at least come and, and, and relate with something that you usually see. Okay, so who's your favorite Ugandan actor, actress? Hi, they mm -hmm. are... I like, uh, okay, they're not like actresses, but they are, they're talented. Eh? Okay, they're stage people. Ah, so I like Tiwanje. <laughs> hey, Tiwanje, oh, yes. Richard, Richard yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. Tiwanje. Yeah. I like, um, uh, there is this guy, oh my God. Say what, he stood, he stood for MP. Say, say something. Oh God, he's a Muganda guy from Bakayimbira. Oh, 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 are you talking about Patrick? Yes, yeah. Not Patrico, uh, but also Patrico is good. Yeah. I like Doctor Bosa. I like. My, I grew up with. Okay, <laughs> watching so, uh, what do you have to? For example, do you love acting at oh. all? Do you think you at one time you'd like to act? There is also this other girl. She's called Carol. I think she's good. Carol. I don't know. You I haven't know. watched so many Ugandan movies, have you? Okay, which ones? Like for example, which ones? <laughs> this is I've watched Ugandan movies. It's just okay. You know, like how you don't like even these other movies i'm not so good with names but i've wa okay, I, uh, okay. I watched you think, do you think you can act yourself yeah you can okay, let's do something <laughs> me and you we are girlfriends but then you found me with your boyfriend out on a dinner date 
and did not expect that. How would you react? Uh, girlfriend didn't yeah. expect. I didn't expect. Yeah, you're my. I'm, I'm, I'm your girl. I'm your girl. I'm your tight. I probably told you I was. I was going to meet with my mom. <laughs> yeah, I won't pull off your wig. <laughs> so that's you how. That's how I'll do. <laughs> so, but now let's try to like let's see your emotions. How okay, it. so you're with my boyfriend. Yes, and 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 uh, you know it wasn't like we are, we are, I told you that I was going to meet. Yeah, definitely. J James mm. or whatever name it is, but somehow. <gasps> so where is the guy? He's somewhere. Okay. Yeah, he's somewhere. So I didn't find you on the date, or you're... we are well, at the date, but uh, somehow. Okay, let's just imagine. Yeah, yeah we imagine. Hmm. Girl. Yeah. <laughs> Don't even have words for you. What are you talking about? <laughs> I. <laughs> you're not even right for. You're not even. <laughs> Please. Not existing. Good. Okay. Please. Anyway, you two are. I'm done. You are good for each other, right? Yeah. Thank you so much. That was Lady Shahor. Huh? SD. 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 E. E. Sherry. I'm here with Musinguzi Godfrey. He is not just any other person in the industry. He is a pillar in the industry. Guys, this guy has been around. This guy is one of those people that keep on pushing and pushing and pushing for our content to be out there for... I, I mean, I cannot say it all, but Musinguzi, you're welcome. Thank you so much. Good to see you. Where have you been, have you been hiding? No, I love it when I'm behind camera. Operating behind the camera because there's so much that I'm bringing on the table. Every time, if I'm to come out on media, I'll be on every media. But it's good when you're behind, things are cooked, and then things are put. So what, out. I, what have you been working on lately? Because I have not seen you. I've not even like we used to talk a lot, but for some strange reason you disappeared. I was like, why again, Hollywood? No, no, no. COVID happened on Uganda Cinema Night, so we'll close down. Then we have the new event coming up. That is a Film and Culture Week. Yes, I coming know. I've heard May. about that. Actually, mm -hmm. we can talk about it. Yes. Quickly. So we just had a launch on the 29th of April. Yes. Victoria Gardens. It was an amazing. We hosted a lot of stakeholders and industry players. Now, today we are here for Afede Roses, where I work as a co-producer. Oh, you produced. <laughs> oh, it is well. <laughs> for as long as it's not COVID. Truly safe, huh? COVID. Okay. Uh, so, what, what, what's this movie? How did you get involved? How did you start? How did, did it all happen? Yeah. Apparently, all these people. Yeah, I don't know these people. Who are these people? Apart from Roger, of course. Roger. We have and Natalia. We have Sharon, we have Derek. These are models, the, the ladies, some are, are models, and then the guys are actors. Okay. A Faded Rose. Uh, it's a story, it's a true story, inspired by a true event. Mm. So when a friend came up, that is Colin Agaba, mm. pitched it to me, and because he was referred to me by a friend. Okay. Yes, and then we talked about it, and we saw it produced, when it's produced. Mm. So we had to join hands together and see that it's out here on the red carpet. It's a very beautiful story, uh, giving presence to women. Okay, okay. And then also encouraging men to stay strong and supporting whatever situation you go through with your woman. Yes. Yes, we have this young girl, Eva, who gets diagnosed with cancer. Oh. And then the boyfriend just amazingly continues to support her that's through the nice. struggle. That's very rare. Yes, and on her bed she's proposed to amazing story, touching and transforming. Okay, so let's talk briefly about the, the film and culture week. What's it about? Yes, that's the story. That's the story. Film and culture week is a film market. Okay. Coming up it's a first edition. It's gonna be virtual. Okay. It's happening at the National Theatre for three days. Strictly we're focusing on developing a, a film market for film stakeholders and other industry players. It's a mixture of uh, film exhibition, okay. uh, workshops, uh, fashion for film. This time you're going to see something different. It's not a usual fashion runway. It is a fashion for an act. Where we have, explain, explain. Where we have models putting on costumes for film, but acting on a carpet. So it's a, it's a 24, no, 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 it's an eight cycle hour play. So you will see models putting on the beach wear on a beach. Okay. You see people putting on the kingship on their throne. Okay. So it's going to be amazing. We're trying to promote film through other mediums of culture. Okay, so what does it take for one to be part or participate? Or, I don't know. Uh, at the moment, 
event we we opened for registration you just visit our website it's www.kfdf.org so you go there you click on the film and culture week the activities are stipulated down there are workshops there's exhibition the forums and also there's there are other activities music performances a lot I, I, I would like to be part, but I know there's someone out there that would love to be part of this. Can you act, like just look into that lens, tell someone, ask them, urge them to watch Uganda, support Uganda, but yeah. most importantly, be part of the Film and Culture Week. Amazing. My name is Godfrey. I, you will always see me around where there's only one word, film. So we have a Film and Culture Week coming up. It's an amazing event. It's a film market, and we're focusing on promoting and creating market for creativity because a lot of filmmakers are disappointed, discouraged because there's no market. But Embrace the Film and Culture Week is an amazing activity. Visit our website, you'll be shocked. You'll be shocked. Thank you so much for your time. Enjoy your time here. Enjoy. Thank you. I was waiting for you to say that. What took you so long? <laughs> Guys, by the way, I am dressed by Bambera Kotua. She is good. If you want anything, bridal, things like this, red carpet, you know, anything and everything. Reach out. She's called Bambera Kotua. Edith, you're the best. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> so how are you? I'm good, how are you? Who are you and what are you doing here? I'm the director of photography. I shot this. Yes, you did? Yeah. Oh. I'm excited. How was it? Tell us exactly how was it? It was good. It was a touching story. It's more of um, a story to give hope. Yeah, it's, it has some love in it. And because um, we all live by hope, so we need hope always. Yes. So, as a DOP, Director of Photography, was this your first kind of job or have you done this before? But exactly, what was the challenging bit of shooting Faded Rose? Yeah, this is my second future. Okay. Yeah, the challenges were, of course, there are challenges. Um, the crew, most of the crew and cast, we had to go through a lot of fixtures and, and repetitions. I kept on telling them, let's do it again, let's do it again, let's do it again. And Why? They, uh, Why was it like that? Because I, we, I, the director and the team, wouldn't feel satisfied, so... Whenever the director was satisfied, I wasn't. So we kept on telling them, let's do it again for the sake of me. But I'm hoping at the end of the day, you got exactly what you're looking for. Of course we did. Yeah, we did. What do you have to say for other DOPs out there that have not gotten a chance to have their work on a red carpet like this or premiered? What do you have to say to encourage them out there? I encourage them to keep on working because it's a journey. It's, it's not a one day thing. Yeah, you just have to walk the journey. And when you walk the journey and keep learning, Keep exploring, keep learning new things, keep adapting to technology. Yeah, you can't fail if you keep learning. You only die when you stop learning. Okay, that's a, so. So exactly, when when you are you're behind the camera, and I'm sure you had read the script, you had understood the script. What do you want someone who's watching from home to take from this movie? Who will be watching the movie, or who will be watching the movie at the end of the day? What do you want them to take home? To take home. As in to, um, to pick from. This to pick movie. from the film, yeah. Like not giving up on each other because it's a story of lovers. One lover had cancer and and he had to go through a lot, um, paying a lot of bills. You know how cancer is. So at the end of the day, he didn't give up on her. So people should learn that we should not give up on the ones we love. It doesn't matter what. It doesn't matter what they go through because at the end of the day, it's it's, it's what we love. You know, yeah. We, I, I, I like the fact that some of these movies, that the Ugandan movies that are coming out right now, are really relatable. They are beautiful. They are, you can easily relate to this story. For example, we have so many people that have been through this kind of situation. And if this um, is a movie like this is telling us exactly how to be true to each other, how to be faithful, how to be loving and caring, it is very important, especially honoring the fact that this is my friend, this is my brother, this is my sister. We look out for each other. The, the Bible even says, be your brother's keeper. So in a situation like this, you need to have a friend that can stick by. Thank you so much. What's your name again? My name is Ndaula Sadat. I'm a director of photography. I belong to the Video Directors Association. Yeah, that's me. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the interview and enjoy your time here. My good Lord, how are you? I am so good, thank you. Don't do that. <laughs> it's good to see you. You're, you're, who, man, who is the, who are you putting on? I don't even know. 
I don't know much, as I said before, but yeah, I love this dress. It's um, beautiful. Thank you so much. I personally design myself, but... You're a designer? Yeah, something of that kind, but no, I am a musician, and... Um, what is your name, if I may ask? Sorry, I forgot <laughs> that. Okay. I sometimes forget my name, but I'm Claire. I use Claire. Who's Claire? Who's Claire? Uh, Claire, Claire, Claire is so long. Let's just not go there for now. But Did you say you're a musician? Yeah. As yeah. I am an upcoming and I am working on a lot of projects. Just be waiting for them, you know, sometime. Well, are you part of the movie or you're just a fan? Um, yeah, I, I had a part. I think uh, when... I don't want to say much about it. I just want you guys to watch it. And yeah, but I was in there. Okay, so if you had to do two things today, what would those things be right now? As in now? Now? How exactly do you mean that? As in things. I can do a lot of things. No, I mean right? two. <laughs> I mean two things. Two things? Yeah. I can dance. Okay, let's dance. <laughs> Mm -hmm. This thing is too big. Okay, all right. Okay, so do you, do you wish at one point to act? Of course, yes. I love to act. I love. Okay, can we do a scene right here, right now, me and yeah. you? Okay, we're best of friends. I am actually born again Christian friend, yeah. and and you are the outgoing kind. You're trying to convince me to go out with you to a, some nightclub, yes. and and then okay, try to convince me. I'm waiting. Um. Uh, are you going to church on Sunday? Yes, I am. I am. I have to go. Yeah, we have a service. We have the choir. We have. We, we were actually first time. Uh, ho hold on. You know, um, me and some of my other friends, um, we are we're planning a party. It's a house party. But I always invite you, and you don't make it. Please, can you make it today? Yeah, because li listen, because listen, me. Rita, listen. Okay, it's my birthday. I just <sighs> I, I know, but I, you know I can't come there. We have a, we have Bible school at church. We have uh, oh the pastor, my God, Father, protect her, keep her. What if next time that I come to church too? Yeah, 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 you, that would be nice. Yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> did we did we kill it? Yes. So you're coming <laughs> with me? At the no, we we'll go to church first. No, like the deal is, you come first and then like come the next Sunday. Okay. So how many premieres have you been to? <laughs> any? <laughs> any, pre no, any premieres like this, like Lionel content kind of? My first one. <laughs> and how do you like it? I love it so much. I'm so, I want you to talk to someone. This person is out there. They're not actually into the industry yeah. as, as in, but that they don't believe that we can actually come up with good work. So I want you to look into that lens, talk to them and urge them to support buy what build uganda and all that you people first of all you need to watch this thing that is you know you should just watch it before you do anything and you need to support ugandan staff okay you need to support us as you support those people outside okay i mean we're doing good stuff and then you just you know which is not good you should you're supposed to support your people yes yeah. People ain't supporting us, you know. Take it easy. It is well. Calm down. Yes. <laughs> thank you so much for your time. Yeah, and enjoy your time here at the premiere. You. Thank you so much. Oh my god, I love my god, I love the makeup. No, <laughs> thank you. That was the lady in gold. Guys, stay tuned. We are still here. I'm still getting more stuff and more stuff and more people, more celebrities, more people are, that are dressed to kill for this premiere. Don't go anywhere. Yeah? We are still here at the Kesha Mall for the premiere, Faded Rose. We'll be right back. I'm afraid you have an internal bleeding. She's a bit weak, she can't speak. Is she sick? Blood cancer. Oh shit. But you have to give up on this one. How long do you have her here now? Aya? Or less? And she lives. By then you will be broke. I'm trying to fundraise. A treatment, very expensive. It's 
was. Okay, okay. No, actually, I think I saw Eva at the entrance. She looked so surprised. That girl is not my friend. Friends don't simply get jealous of our friends. Jealous? Eva is sick. She has blood cancer. She has been falling sick more often and now they need 16 million for her treatment. Sharon, 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 Sharon. She's not worth it. That's because you don't know her. You don't know this girl. She's a feathered rose. I don't even know what to say, guys. I am meeting this beautiful lady in green. I thought I was smart, but man, this lady is smart. Who are you wearing? Thank you. Thank you so much. Is this who designed you today? Uh, actually, I have my own designer. Yeah. And do you want to share? Because you never know, there might be someone out there who is loving this look and they would want to like... Uh, she's called Barak Fashions. Barak. Yeah, Barak Fashions. She's located in Machindi. Nice. You want to ask me who, who I'm wearing? I'm wearing Bambera Couture. Wow. She, <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. So, uh, who are you and what are you doing here? Uh, I'm Shakila Owen. Uh, I'm a musician. Oh. Uh, my stage name is Shaki O. Okay. I'm here. Uh, a friend invited me. Okay. Fellow artist. So, I'm here to support. Okay, so what do you know about this movie? Have you like watched the trailer? Have you like read the synopsis? Or as in, what do you know? Or what do you know about Ugandan movies generally? Uh, well, Ugandan movie actually they're good. I uh, love watching Ugandan movie. Uh, Faded Rose, I watched it half of it. Okay. It's really beautiful. Yeah. Did, did, did you easily relate? As in, do you think what the, what they're trying to portray actually happens out there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do you want at some point to act yourself or you just want to be supporting from the outside? No, actually I love, I love it. Love uh, yeah, I love acting and I love movies, so that's why I'm here. Oh. When she so, so, yeah. Okay, so now that you're here and you love acting, let's act. This is a camera. Let's do something. Okay, you, you have just received bad news. How do you react to that? Very bad news. I don't, I don't want to say you, you've, lost, you, you've lost a loved one, God forbid. But someone who's so dear to you, they've just called you that they've passed. You did not expect, probably you were with them in the morning, or you're supposed to meet them today, but you didn't make it, and then you get this phone call. It's about this friend of yours, or this loved one of yours. How would you react to that? Just, just, just tell us exactly how we react to you. Okay, let me call you. I'm going to call. Hello, hello? Hello, is this uh, Lady J? Lady Sh Shark O? Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry I have very bad news, but uh, there's someone who was in a car crash and uh, we found your number on it. Do you know anybody called Jimmy? Excuse me? Yes, Jimmy. Oh my God. Yeah, you know that person. Oh my God, I can't believe this. Is he fine? No, he's actually, I'm sorry to tell you, but uh, he couldn't make it. We tried the best we could, but we lost him. Oh God. Lovely. I can see that producers, you had better be watching directors. There is talent here, serious talent here. You do not want to miss out on talent. Thank you so much for your time. Shaka, what's, what's your music about? As in, do you want to talk about your music? Yeah, I love to talk about it. Uh, uh, my music is it's out there. Can someone find it? Out there. What, uh, what is your favorite song of all the songs you've done? It's Holy Love. Give us a cappella. It's a long, long time, long, long time I've been thinking of you. It's a long, long time, long, long time I've been... Yes! <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. That's beautiful. Thank you. That was nice. Thank you so much. What's the song about? Uh, it's a love song. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. 
mm. uh, for fans out there mm. uh, you should find my music on YouTube it's Shaki OUG uh, Facebook Shaki OUG Insta Shaki OUG and thank you so much for supporting Ugandan music Yes, Ugandan entertainment, everything that falls into the entertainment, yes. film, music, thank you so much for standing with us because it's only until we support ourselves that we will grow to the levels that we admire from out there, Nigeria, South Africa, Hollywood itself. So let's support our own, let's keep pushing our very own. If there's a premiere like this, don't stay home, then stay home and start judging come here and watch it and support because these people put in a lot of time money and everything so if you stay home and you don't support then we won't grow but you want good stuff right but hi you're looking nice thank you thank what are you wearing Who's, who designed you i need to be real i know that lady she's very good let's see that behind Nice. So, uh, so are you part of the cast? Are you part of the crew? Are you just a fan? I'm part of the cast. Oh, you, what's your name? Angeline. My name is Angeline. Oh, you, you, are you among this? You're this one? Yeah. Why have you been making me? <laughs> well, my, okay, so is this your first time to act or this is like your, I don't know how many times? It's my first time and I'm excited. <laughs> no, you, did you say you're called Nsima? Yeah, I'm Angeline Nsima. Angeline Nsima. Yeah. So, was this your, you, you said it's your first? It's my first time. How did you find it? It was really good and exciting and all fun, really. How did you get this role? Because Nang, if we are in the industry, we don't get to see the Andy who is not in the industry, you get all this. So how did it happen? Was it because technical know who or you actually auditioned? I auditioned, yeah, it's the talent, so. So it's been lying in there. What took you so long to come out and, and do all this? Or you had other things and you decided to just try it out? I had school, but I did it along with school. Okay. Yeah. So are you studying anything related to film or it is, no. this is just talent? It's just talent, really. Have you told your parents about your new found love? I told them they know. Yeah. And they're supportive? They're very supportive. That's nice. So what would you tell someone who's out there? They have the talent, they have the passion, but they haven't had a chance, like the chance you got. Maybe they haven't seen any casting calls. They have not been asked or called by a friend, oh come let's go and try out this audition, what would you have to tell them that are out there? I'd tell them not to give up, okay. if they love it, they should go for it whatsoever, it's not easy, the auditions are not easy themselves, so okay. they can do that and then maybe with luck or with their talent, it will go through some, some time, maybe someday. Okay, Natalie, uh, Angel. <laughs> I'm not very good. Sometimes I'm very good with names, but me and Angeline. Okay, since we are at a film premiere and you're part of this movie, can can we can we do a casino, me and you? Well, okay. Okay, you are the born again friend. You're not into this outing things, and I am the girl that wants to pull you, take take you to this some place out there. I am going to come on to you, but it's up to you to act the. The born again Christian girl, all devoted, all focused. But I'm, I'm a friend. I'm not a very, very good friend when it comes to trying to to pull you away from the right ways. And okay, let me, let me, let me start. I'm the friend. Hey, hi, hi, Natalie. Oh, hello. How are you? Okay, so uh, today I, I am going to take you out to dinner. Um, that should be okay. But where are you taking me? Uh, uh, we will go to uh, we'll go to the movie first and then go to dinner and then after that we'll go see some friends of, of mine. They're very good friends and then we'll just sit down and chat. Really? Yeah. Um, can I trust you? You, you, you? How long have you known me? How long have we been friends? Um, it's been a while but you know I'm into church and yeah, I know you are. We're not going to sleep there. We'll just stay for some hours. And then after that, the next day you go to church. It's, it's still okay. Okay, a movie is fine. Yeah, a movie is fine. Dinner. And then after that, we can go and, and just chill at my friend's place. We we'll listen to music. Good music. Good music? Yeah. Mm, let's see. Okay, we'll see. I'll give you my answer. But, but we have a dress code for that, for that evening. What do I put on? Uh, it has to be something really short. No. That's against my religion and I am not going against it, you know. It, there's nothing is going to happen, but you cannot come dressed like this. We just have to want you to be free. Just be free and put on your, your, like, your, your sneakers and, and your shorts and, and that's it. No, I'm out. I won't be doing that. Ah. 
that was my thank you i love that thank you so much and thank you so much for your time enjoy your, your the premiere and and i can't wait to see what you did in there guys it is a red carpet and i happen to learn to run into my old friend we used to stand on the same line ministering she's here she's been lost on me that's what i'm happy to see you thank you so glory to god thank you so much know how far we've come Maureen. don't over <laughs> i know how have you been i'm good it's good I'm to good. see you you look blessed you look so good how are the boys the boys are really good all grown and big big yeah how have you been uh, how has god kept you god has been so good to me he has kept me i can't complain and uh, i'm very grateful every day is a new blessing i can't say enough i'm just too grateful to and you. who are you wearing meanwhile I'm wearing something locally made. Yeah, but there's someone who made it. Yeah. Because it looks so beautiful. Oh, this is beautiful, guys. Fashion wear a jerry. Fashion wear a jerry. Guys, Maureen, tell us about Ugandan films. What do you have to say about them? Because I know I have worked with you on some projects in the, in the past years. So tell us exactly what do you, where do you see us going in five years from now? Where do you see us heading, looking at how things are going right now? Actually, I'm so proud of Uganda because the movie industry has gone so high way up. And uh, the movies that I've been watching have been really interesting. I've, uh, I've enjoyed the competition now that we have as Ugandans. Mm. And the movies are getting better and better each and every day. We're going to watch Faded Rose. I want to see how it is. But the movies I've watched so far have been so tremendously good. That's nice. It's good to know that for someone like you that has been the backbone of all this, because I know how far we've come when we did the Battle of the Souls, and now we are here. And, and I, I want you to encourage someone that is out there and tell them not to give up, because maybe someone was actually part of that that move then, but for some strange reason or for whatever things that happen in life, they kind of give up. But they still have this love. What would you have to say to them? A young girl, a young boy out there. You know, I, I believe in one thing. If you love something, keep your goal up there. Never give up. When you don't give up, you'll always win. You'll always reach your destination. And movies right now are being appreciated and the payments are becoming better and better than what it used to be back then. So I encourage the young youth, instead of sitting at home looking for what to do, if you know you can act, please come out. We are looking for talent everywhere. And, 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 and I've heard, I've been told that actually we have talent in Uganda. Our children really have talent. They are so talented. Okay, so like an I, I, I adult-com parent, how would, you, uh, how would you support a child? For example, now let's say Elijah. Is he called Elijah? Yes. Elijah is, shows interest in anything. It can be music, it can be acting, it can be mechanical. But you as a parent, there's something you wished for them. But right now they're trying to show you that, Mommy, yes, I know I love you and you love me, but, but me, I want to take this direction. Would you support them? Yes, I would support them. Because um, what we didn't have as us when we grew up, yes. our parents decided for us what to do. And you ended up doing something totally different. So I would support them, but still encourage them in another way. Mm. But support them with what they want to do. Elijah, like my son, he's a very good artist. He knows how to draw, he's so creative. So I tell him books are very good, but if he's taking the artistic side, I still encourage him. Because you can never know what he can be. Exactly. So I'd like you to look into that lens. Speak to a parent that they've been pushing because they know Mwalawa Gundi, a lawyer, doctor. No, no, Mwana Gama Togenda Kunsi Walida but you, I want you to talk to that parent, encourage them, and let them understand what these children actually love to do. Um, the parent out there, and I know that we love our children and we have a purpose for their life, but. It is very important that uh, we leave them and guide them in what they want to do, support them, and uh, make sure they study, but support them in whatever they want to do. Because we may teach them, and that's not what they love. They may end up going to school just to make us happy, mm -hmm. but what does make them happy is what we need to uh, feed and make sure it grows up in them. Yes, that is what I can say. Thank you so much, Mumu. I'm, I'm sorry I ambushed you, but uh, thank God that you are allowed to be ambushed by an old friend. 
I know, I know. Nobody does, by the way. Even me, I don't like them. But thank you and enjoy your time at the premiere. Enjoy the movie. Hello, hello, people. I am still at the red carpet of Faded Rose premiere at Akesha Mall. I just met this lovely, beautiful woman. My good Lord, she's all smart. Who are you wearing, madam? Thank you, Eloy Grazer. Fashion, huh? Eloy Grazer. Okay, how do we get Eloy Grazer? She's in Chanja. Ginger. Chanja. Chanja. Yeah, opposite Kevin. It's good to see you. What are you doing here? Are you part of the crew? Are you part of the cast? Are you just a fan? What are you doing here? Looking all good. Thank you. I'm actually part of the crew. Oh. Yeah. Um, I act as Stella. So you will see me. When oh, it's... definitely. So what do you have to say about the movie itself, Faded Rose? It's so interesting, so educative, so fun. So we just have to get in and watch it. Okay, I'm someone who's just going to wait until it's on DVD or what do you want me to learn from this movie? You'll learn ab about a lot of things like life aspects, yes. health, yes. friendship, yes. family. It's really a lot. Yeah. Oh, okay. So is this your first movie or has, have you been acting or is this your, like, your first project? Mm, I've not been really, really so much into it but this is my third movie. Yeah. Well, since you're an actor, let's act. I am not an actor myself, but I try. I love to act. So, okay, you, you have a child. Your child is like maybe three, four years. You went to work. You left this child at home. Well, good. And then you're called that he's, uh, he's, he's not feeling too well right now. And he needs to be taken to the hospital. But the, the bad part of it you don't have enough money and you have to go to the hospital so you're running into the hospital but i am the mean nurse or the mean doctor i want you to come in with your child imagine you have your child in your hands and you're crying you need attention but no one is giving you attention because for us we work with we, we, i don't know all those things so tell us show us exactly what you would do hello nurse my child is so sick please help me Please help me now. No, 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 I'm so sorry. I'm busy. Wait there. Sit at the waiting. Please. Sit I, there and wait. Please, madam. Please. All these people are waiting. Kindly help me. All these people are waiting and they want to be attended to. So please. sit down. Assume it's your child. Yes, I do have children. Sit, sit down. Sit down, my friend. Sit down. Please, I beg you. No, I don't have time for you. I really so beg you, nurse. Look at the child. Do you think this is convincing enough? Look at the child. For me to stop what I'm doing and attend to you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. What did you say your name was? I'm Patience. I never was. I never was Patience. I am here with one of the main, the cream of the movie. He is the main cast. He is called Roger Mugisha. We all know him. We know that voice. You know that voice, huh? Hmm? And I am so honored and blessed to be here. I happened to run into him on this red carpet because he, he had to be here. And for that reason, because of the long time we have had together, I decided to ambush him. Sir, San Sokula Vasebo. Praise the Lord. Where have you been? I am, I am, I am around. I am quiet. Quiet in the Lord. Yes. Yeah. 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 True. Sometimes you need to be. Sometimes you need to be. Not sometimes. Most Actually, times. I'm enjoying the quietness. It's, it's, it's good because sometimes uh, I want, they can... Mm. So, Stuf, let's talk about Faded Rose. What's, right. about, what's this movie about? Faded Rose is... Uh, Faded Rose is, is a film about, uh, well, if I tell the story now, I will be giving away the whole film. Mm. But it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a family story about love, about love conquering uh, tough situations. Mm. Um, now, me, I'm, professionally, I'm an actor, so I get certain roles to do certain things. Okay. So I, there are certain details that I cannot give because we are still un unveiling the film. Okay. But yeah, it is a, it's a, all I can tell you, it's a love story. A love story, rich versus poor, the haves and have nots. I'll leave it at that. Okay, so you played who in the movie? Again, I would like to surprise. Ah, oh, okay. He doesn't want to say. Okay, now that, you, that I've got a chance to talk. <laughs> the good man. Yes. Now that we get to talk about Ugandan movies generally, we're not talking about the Faded Rose, but let's talk about the, gen the Ugandan movies generally. What do you have to say about the industry? Well, the industry is growing. Uh, yes. It is. It is growing, and uh, I like the fact that now people can actually say I'm employed in film, or I, I have a film job, or I have something uh, in in line with that, or regard with that. So, uh, I, I I feel that the industry is going to grow even. It's, it's going to grow as more people realize that it's it's a full full time paying job. 
especially now that we even have series coming up. Yes. And uh, soon you'll have someone proudly saying, I, I, I am an actor, I'm an actress. You no longer have to hide, like, you know, like talk to someone and then they're like, okay, so you, you, so you are a banker. I know you tell them I'm, a, I'm an actor like no besides that what else do you do you do I just there's no more what else do you do it's like yeah I am an actor I'm on I would like someone to say I'm a cameraman mm -hmm. so I'm a sound yes I'm a sound engineer I'm a technician I am this these are all jobs that are there by the way truth be told the film industry employs employs the highest number of urban youth True that. and it's the only industry that will that can employ almost anybody because there's a job for everyone we are basically people who recreate life so everybody has a role in recreating life. Okay, so Roger, for, for someone like you, someone who has been in the industry, someone who has made his name, were you handpicked? Did you audition? Did someone just call you and tell you, you know what, I have a gig for you here? How did it happen? Uh, well, I, I was, I, I, I don't know whether I was handpicked or what, but I know I received a phone call from the director and he said, I have this story. I told him, let me have a look. I read the script. I said, okay, I think I don't mind playing this role. Oh, so you chose the role yourself? No, no, I didn't choose. He, okay. he, he, was, he was very specific about, okay. I think you'd be good for this role. So I'm like, okay, let me give it a shot. Uh, it, 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 it's, it's, a, it's a role that I thought I would be comfortable with. It was not so extreme. It wasn't far away from what I could deliver. So, it's like for, so, for someone like you, I don't think you've ever been to an audition. Have you ever auditioned for a role and maybe be turned down? Uh, that is a story for another day. Okay, because I know there's someone there who's saying, hey, Nadia Gadok, Veranga, Roja, Uncle Entia. Why would you advise someone who's out there, young, <laughs> passionate, but they've been to a couple of auditions and they haven't been so lucky? Well, you do and you don't stop. That's the most important thing. You do and you don't stop. You, when going. you start, yeah, when you start, you keep going, you don't stop. When you stop, people wonder what you're up to. But for me, it's, it's a case of me trying to, I'm now trying to, to, you know, it's more like a checklist of my life goals. Like, okay, checklist. And um, I, I, I trying to do this. I had a passion for this, and a checklist. So don't be surprised if you find me becoming a pilot or a doctor. One of those things. There are those things I have on my checklist. Oh, so this one is checked already. So are you? Are you? Because, because we almost checked. <laughs> We've all. I know. I was about to ask you. So are you still in? I know you're still into radio because you know, you know. But uh, so you're still doing both, or you did you transition permanently from this side to the other side, or you're still? You know how radio is, uh, and and film is is not something that takes up. It, it does not. It's not. They're they're like projects. They're not like full time sit at mm. your desk type of job. Mm. It's something you can do over the weekend. You can shoot in the night. You can shoot. You know, sometimes very odd hours, until a project is done. So it does not really interfere so much with with my daytime job. Okay, so Roger, if you are to do two things today, you just, like I asked you today, if you are to do two things today, what would those things be? Do two things? Well, yeah. like in, in what regard? You? Just two things. It can be, maybe like you said, go for pilot classes, I don't know. Any oh, if two. I was to do any two things. <laughs> any two things? Well, I'd start an online church. <laughs> Musumba Roger. Thank you so much. You're looking so good, by the way. And enjoy your time. Yes. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah. That was Roger Mugisha. He is in the movie. He is the main cast. He didn't have to say so much because he wants you guys to watch the movie. Stay tuned. Watch this movie. It is going to be on CDs very soon. But after this premiere, they say there's going to be screenings like three times, different screenings. So guys, come here. Come to Akisha Mugisha. Support. Support the industry by coming to watch these movies because these people put in a lot of money to come up with all this. So let's support them. Let's build Uganda. Love Uganda and build Uganda. I am here with one of the ladies on the poster, Faded Rose. She's right here. What's your name, madam? Rikunda Lilian, Natalie. Huh? Natalie. <laughs> she's, Natalie. She's called Natalie. She's one of the main cast. Hello, how are you? I'm okay, how are you? To see you looking nice. Thank you. You're yes. looking good too. Thank you. So uh, who are you wearing? Kais Juka Abbas. Kais Divo Collection. Yeah. Yes, no wonder. This guy, I must visit him one of these days. So tell, let's talk about Faded Rose, just briefly. What, what do you have to say about Faded Rose? Uh, a Faded Rose is a, a very beautiful woman mm, uh, with good hair. Yes. <laughs> just before she got sick. Uh, she was so strong, so much courage, too persistent. She was so good with her family, 
she had a, a, a let me say I can't say husband because they weren't married um, basically that she fell sick in the middle of a movie uh, she lost her hair um, she got lost at some point the sisters looked for her they couldn't find her at some point they find her in the hospital then they reconnect but Eva was still sick like she had started falling sick losing her hair but I don't want to say so yeah, much let's not, let's not, let's yeah let's not just <laughs> I mean, I <laughs> narrate the whole story I and know, people wouldn't come okay so was this your first project to act or is this like I don't know have you acted before yes this is my first project how I handpicked did you audition how did you get this role my god Okay, I'm a, I'm a high fashion model first, yes. I'm a high fashion model. That's how I was. So you did not audition? I wasn't. Oh, <laughs> so how did you find acting now that it was your first and how did you find it? Um, I found it quite interesting. If I got another project, I would really embark on it. So now that you're an official actor, let's do something. What do you want us to act, me and you? <laughs> Maybe you can, you can tell me. Okay, let's say I'm, I'm, I'm your girlfriend. But for some strange reason, you found me on a date with your boyfriend. As in, as in, I, I, I have betrayed you. So t exactly how would you react to that? <sighs> really? Yeah, what, what do you have to say about it? I mean, I, 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 I mean, he asked me out. Seriously? Yes, he did. How would you do this to me? Do what? I'm a woman. I can't believe this. Wow, that was nice. Thank you so much. That was beautiful. <laughs> but then, I don't think you would react like okay. that. I would literally carry <laughs> And throw me someplace. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for your time. You're and welcome. enjoy the premiere. And I can't wait to watch because being your first time. You should be there. I am going to be there. I am going to be there. Thank you so much. I, and I am coming. Thank you so much for your time. Enjoy. And I can't wait to be on the same set. Maybe they give us this now we have this beef Connection. you know ah. Ah, you know <laughs> thank you so much Guys, thank you so much for watching the movie Manio. It has been amazing to have you on the show. Guys, stay tuned. Don't go anywhere because Movie Manio brings you the best of the best of the best. I am so blessed and honored to have had a chance to talk to all these people in one go. Guys, I can't thank you enough, guys, that are going to be watching or that are watching or that have watched more episodes to come. I, I want to say thanks to my cameraman, Kenny. Thank you so much. The editing suit, guys. But I want to thank God for the gift of life because had it not been for him, I wouldn't be here. So, guys, tune into Rest TV. Watch the, most, the shows on Rest TV. We have beautiful, entertaining, educating, and informing shows. We have the gospel with Pastor Isaac Chovich, where we see. We have Pastor Roland, we have Pastor Charles, we have talked to the pastor, we have Katika, we have Youth Hub, we have uh, all these shows. I say I cannot say them all, but the movie manual airs every Saturday at 5. You don't want to miss any episode. Stay tuned. Till next time. I love you and God bless you. Bye.